When we start to have a look at uh, occupational agreements, they can come in many different forms. Um, you could go and spend the night staying with someone and that will be regarded as one type of occupation. Equally, you may well find that someone buys into a lease of, say, 999 years, in which case then they're almost certainly going to be in the form of a leaseholder. But the very big vexed question of whether a license is a license or it's a lease came up in a very famous case called Street and Mountford. In that case, Mrs Wendy Mountford was occupying a flat uh, just outside Bournemouth. And Mr Street, Roger Street, her landlord, was not only her landlord, but also a lawyer. And the agreement that Mrs Mountford had signed up to effectively said, this is a license, which meant that with 14 days notice, Mr Street could evict Mrs Mountford from the premises. Not to be outdone by this challenge from Mr Street, Mrs Mountford escalated her case to the House of Lords. And the House of Lords ruled that yes, look on the outside of the tin to see whether there's any naming to give an idea about what the occupational agreement was. At the end of the day, the real test is to open up the tin and find out what is inside. And in this case, Lord Templeman, who gave the leading decision, came to the conclusion that because Mrs Mountford had a term certain and exclusive possession, that that was strong enough to defeat the argument that the licence was not a licence, but rather the licence was a lease. At the time for Mrs Mountford running this case, it was extremely important for her because at the time, security of tenure would then pertain to the occupational agreement, which means that Mr Street would have no grounds to evict her from the premises.